unmistakable sound of Sonny Rollins. Coltrane said that Sonny Rollins is one of the best. Well, Sonny Rollins is, uh, I think he's outstanding to the man. I'm a huge fan of Coltrane, and Sonny Rollins is as big as influence. The sound, the rhythm, the articulation. This is Sonny Rollins and the three solos you have to check. The recording of Tenor Madness by Sonny Rollins and John Coltrane is a milestone in jazz. Some call this blues recording the Bible. Because this recording contains all the blues licks you can probably play on any blues. Let's take a look at the solo of Sonny Rollins on Tenor Madness. Tenor Madness is a plain blues in C. And the aspect that creates the madness is of course John Coltrane and Sonny Rollins' amazing solos. How Sonny Rollins eases into playing his solo after John Coltrane's double time solo. Just playing the root and the third of the chords. And on the F7. He basically just changed the third, the E, into an E flat that fits that F7. And a bit of blue scale. And back to the root in the third of that beautiful C7. Play and repeat recognizable motives. This is a skill I think all jazz players should be able to do. Start practicing this by playing through a known progression. Use two to three note themes or motives. Repeat them and move them around where they fit the chords. My small theme is an F, E and C. And the development of this in the second bar, I introduce a couple of new notes. And in the third bar, I repeat it and add a little bit more, going to the B flat. On my Patreon, in the full lesson description on tier 1, I have added more examples of motive development in known progressions in all 12 keys, of course. Sonny Rollins teaches us how to play great forward motion lines and using guide tone lines. In this example, Sonny Rollins plays amazingly towards every target note he chooses. Mr. Rollins clearly plays a known sound leading to the next chord with a beautiful guide tone line. The F to the E flat to the D. His guide tone line is amazingly clear. A small example of how to do this. The rule of the guide tone line is pretty clear. Play only chord notes. Move through the chord by leading the closest way to the next target note in the next chord. The amazing Sonny Rollins. Such a groove, such a rhythm. And again, an amazing melodic overview of the whole form. Repeating a simple idea as a fifth interval from the fifth to the root of the chord and moving the motif flawlessly around in the rhythm. This brings into this great line where chords and scale does not seem to matter. Everything sounds as easy as taking a stroke. Again showing an amazing melodic overview through the chords by playing this great guide tone line. Hanging all these beautiful notes under it. From the G to the F sharp. From the F sharp to the F. Ending this motif exactly as he began the whole tune. Talking about full melodic control. Rollins is the master of using bigger jumps. He uses the bigger jumps as pick up to the next note and leaning towards the next chord. I think everybody should practice bigger jumps. Putting this into an exercise could look like this. But remember to add this into your music as soon as you can. In this next line, another iconic Sonny Rollins sound is clear. The small trills in Sonny Rollins play. If you listen to other Sonny Rollins solos, you'll hear that he adds these amazing details into his playing all over the place. And it just sounds amazing. It adds to the rhythm, it adds to the timing. Add these to your playing. 
Add this exercise to your saxophone training and it will loosen up your technique and you'll get these amazing details into your play. And please do dig into this. I've added all this material on my Patreon on the first tier. All the exercise, all the links and lots of extra material for you to download. <laughs> This is how Sonny Rollins makes swing remarkable. I think the most important lesson is keep swinging and use great articulation. Listening to Sonny Rollins' raw swinging natural saxophone sound and his amazing articulation just makes me really happy. This is really something you do want to achieve in your playing. <laughs> Here I've exaggerated the articulation enormously. To really train this, start listening to Sonny Rollins and play exactly what he's playing. Listen to his line, copy them and play his exact style. If you need to take this a step back, you can add this to your own exercises. For example, playing the scales down in a short chord progression like a 2-5-1. It's a C minor 7, F7, B flat, 2, 5 in B flat. Take a step further into the universe of Sonny Rollins and get control over these two very important skills. Forward motion and guide toe lines on one side, jazz articulation on the other side. You pick. All legs and exercise can be found on the first tier on my Patreon in all 12 keys. And I recommend you to subscribe to my newsletter. Any questions about saxophone topics are welcome in the comment section. Like and subscribe, you know where to find it. Play music and have fun.